Within EdgeCam, I'm able to launch the PDF viewer or the eDrawings viewer. I'm going to click on my PDF icon, which will launch my drawing file from PDF directly within EdgeCam. I'm going to click on my eDrawings viewer, and this will also launch my drawing file within the eDrawings directly from EdgeCam. This will allow me to view my drawing file. At this point, I do not have any CAD data. The only thing I have for my customer is the actual drawing file with dimensions. I will make note of the dimensions, which I will use these points to plot in EdgeCam for geometry creation. I will click on my 2D turning geometry creation tool. And this is where I will enter my X and Z values so that EdgeCam will automatically create my geometry as I'm plotting my points. As you can see here, I'm plotting each individual X and Z value and EdgeCam is the geometry creation. So very quickly and easily, I'm able to plot points using the PDF uh, drawing file or eDrawings file and have EdgeCam automatically create my geometry. I will apply some stock. And my part's ready to move into manufacture. I'm able to select my machine tool for this part, give it a part stick out. Because I'm working with a 3D model of a machine tool, I'm able to enter the actual part stick out from my chuck to my part. I will launch my manufacturing interface in EdgeCam. At this point, I'm ready to start manufacturing my part. As you can see here, I have a full 3D representation of a machine tool that I'll be cutting this part on. EdgeCam, as, my, as it was creating geometry, it was putting everything nicely organized on different layers. This will come in handy when manufacturing. As I click on my rough turn icon, EdgeCam automatically hides all the geometry and only leaves the geometry required for machining of the roughing turning cycle. This makes it very easy for selecting geometry. I hit on my finishing turning cycle and again EdgeCam automatically hides all the geometry that is not required but only leaving the geometry required for the cycle. As you can see here I've clicked on my grooving cycle and it's only showing me the grooves. Again this makes it very easy and fast way of manufacturing this part. As you can see here, the only thing I'm doing is selecting geometry. EdgeCam is automatically selecting the tool, the appropriate tool for machining of this part, and applying the appropriate tool path. Within a few seconds, I was able to quickly program this part very fast and efficiently. Now I, I will move to my simulation mode, where I will be able to simulate this, the machining sequences for this part in 3D. As you can see here, EdgeCam has nicely laid out all my tools on my machine turret and my stock piece on my chuck. I will slow this down for demonstration purpose and we will see EdgeCam simulate my tool paths accordingly. As you can see here, we're seeing the roughing cycle. Done a tool change and now we will do a finishing cycle. And last but not least, we will do the grooves. We will rough and finish each individual groove. From here, I will close this window and I will launch my NC code generator, which will produce the G code for this part. Verify my G code to be correct. And from here, my part is ready for manufacture. So very quick and easily, I was able to take a PDF drawing, plot my points, create geometry, and automatically manufacture this part 